<laughs> Are you good? I wanted to show you something. I wanted to get your... Religious or political? Pardon? Religious or political? No, political. Oh, that's cool, yeah. You want that one, yeah? <laughs> no, religious, we don't do it. Salaam alaikum. How are you? You okay? If, uh, first and foremost, just to introduce the people to you. Your name is Joseph Cohen, yeah? Yeah. And uh, you you represent the, the you represent the Israeli lobby. Uh, the sorry, Israeli lobby. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> no, the, the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds. No, no, no. <laughs> you represent the uh, sorry. The, the you have an organization. I, I forget yeah, the name. Israel Advocacy Movement. Uh, Israel, uh, uh, you're the leader of this. Uh, yeah, I run it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Leader's a bit strong and makes sound. No problem. You guys. How yeah, are you doing, my friend? Say hello. Thank you, my friend. Nice yeah. to see you guys. See you on YouTube. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Come down to you guys. Excellent. Now, uh, Joseph, I want to, first and foremost, um, I want to say that I have seen your post about the Tommy Robinson thing, yeah? Yeah. So, just to let everyone know, Tommy Robinson came a long time ago, and, uh, and we were trying to moderate the audience and stuff like that. Yeah. And Joseph, out of his fair-minded approach, you know, he said that, you know, uh, he, he gave us credit. He gave Muhammad, he said my name personally yeah. on a, uh, this came to me recently. Muhammad Hijab and uh, Ali Dawa and Hussein. Yeah, so you said that we were trying to US diffuse the situation. So this made me think that, you know, Joseph Cohen has a fair-minded side to him. And I hope that today the fair-minded side will come out because here's something. You're, you're so before, before we because you clearly rehearsed this. No, and, no, I thought about this two minutes before I came but, to you. No, but you're, you're pulling something on your phone. Yeah, someone why, showed it to what, me this what morning. What happens in these conversations yeah. is somebody pre comes with a pre-script. So rather than you come with your pre-script, can we just talk openly? But rather, yeah. rather than just going to one maybe specific instance in history, I'm yeah. assuming this is going to be Israel-Palestine. Yeah, no, what, what it was is, can I just show you? It's just literally small, yeah? Because this is something that's happening at the moment, yeah? So here, this is a minute video, right? As you can see here in the video, oh, no, I know the video. So before, it's just okay. it's the video where a right. Palestinian from Gaza yes, who yes. is approaching the fence is shot. It took place in December, yeah, um, yeah. and he's shot. And when he's shot, and he, he, he looks at it, he appears like he's fatally injured. Yes, yes. When it, you and hear, the, and the, and the crowd. two people yes, in the yes. background cheering. Now within Judaism, and I don't like talking religion. I like talking politics because religion is religion. It's faith. It's hard to argue. But um, politics is very real. And I'm going to actually bring a quote. In, in the Torah, it says, or in the Tanakh, it says, we shouldn't rejoice when our enemies fall. So the Israeli position is this person was approaching the fence. I can't remember if it was the plant, the bomb, or... It was an unarmed guy. No, is, okay, you can't see. You can see a video. The Israeli position is different. Yeah. But why? I don't want to get caught up on the details. What happened... No, but that's, an important, that's an important detail. No, 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 you, know. So, so, you know. So the Israelis say he was attempting a terror attack. The Palestinian position is he was unarmed. Some, is there any evidence that he's armed? So, so the Israeli, so there's an open investigation. What I want to say, rather than caught up in the details, right, go ahead, go ahead. What sorry. I wanted yes, to say yes, was, yes. this has actually been so. Just for the cameras, yes. when he shot, two people in the background, they started the celeb Israeli celebrating and rejoicing, cheering, yes, and, and okay, saying uh, uh, can, can swearing say, and stuff. The Israeli society yes, was yes. repulsed by this. It was headline stories. Excellent. The IDF has opened an investigation on this. So my thing was rather than focus on this, because we. So you condemn, you condemn this. So I absolutely whatever happens when. Somebody, even if they are carrying out a terror attack, yes. you should not rejoice when they fall. That's what yeah. my religion teaches me. Okay. So, that, so, so you, you condemn the IDF on this? So, so I, I explicitly stated. Yes. When and it's not the we don't know who. There's two people in the background. No, no, the guy that shot. No, no, he no, says so, shoot him. So there's, there's a guy with the binoculars. Yes, yes. There's the guy who's the actual sniper. Yes. And there were two people in the background. The IDF has opened up an investigation on this. So I'm saying, like, I'm very, very. So the, the those guys that shot the the unarmed civilians. So you're saying you, condem you, condem civilian. you condemn them. Do, do you know the name of the man? I don't know the guy. So this is what I'm saying. How do you know he's unarmed? Because you read that on your news sources. My news sources say. Well, what we saw was, was that he was unarmed. Because like when you when he was approaching the border. So, so how do you know someone's unarmed? Someone can have a gun. Because you can visibly see that he has no. No, no actual guns the, on him. The picture, with the greatest respect, is it's, very it's quite small resolution. But you can see, okay. you can see though. Okay, let's get caught up on the detail. Yeah, okay. I'm saying, me, like all of Israeli society, yeah. it was of you what happened. The cheering should never have happened. Yes, and sir. if it was an unarmed civilian, then absolutely, I would condemn that. I don't know for sure if that is. But what I think is a much you, more would you, would you agree that, sorry, sorry no, I'm happy, yeah. I mean, it's not, yeah. we don't need to get caught up on, like you say, the details. But you would say, would you accept that Israel, especially in recent times, has committed these excesses against the civilians, the Palestinian so, so civilians. I, I'll, I'll give you a real example. Yeah. Yeah. So, two weeks ago, 400 people were slaughtered in one week in Syria. Barely anybody noticed it in the world. Okay. 
18 on the first in the first night of the the, the first day of the Friday protests in Gaza. Yeah. The first Friday, 18 Gazans were killed. 18 Palestinians were killed. 12 of them. My goodness. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I'm addressing a White House press conference at the moment. <laughs> so we've got CNN fake news. We've got, um, like, there's a lot of camera for those that can't see. There's only like 10 cameras on us. Um, this side's my good side. So, uh, so what I was saying, Mohammed, is um, 18 people were killed. 12, all of them were of fighting age. All of them were male. 12 of them, Hamas and Islamic Jihad and Fatah, have mentioned were militants from their organisation. So you're, you're talking about, just to just to kind of step back, step back here. You're yeah. talking about the protests. Yeah, talking about and, the protests. And those protests, which were which were met with the resistance of the IDF. Yeah. Right? And so you're saying from that, this is the I'm official. Of the, the, the official statistics is that yeah. there were 18 people yeah, that were killed. First, uh, fine, no problem. Right on the first. Day. Okay, fine. Let's take that. Let's take that as a uh, as a figure. No problem. Yeah. yeah? Do you accept that th that should not have happened in a state that calls itself democratic? And that's at aims so to protect the rights of. It is not democratic. When was the last election in Gaza? I'm not talking about Gaza. I'm talking oh, about Israel. Talking about Israel. <laughs> I was like, no, they haven't had yeah. elections there in 12 so, years. We can't call them as yeah, democratic. Yeah. So I'm talking about Israel. So Israel calls okay. itself democratic, which means that protest is one of those emblems for uh, for democracy, right? I'm so, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So this again. If it was protest, if that was women and children that had been shot, so I so would, long as it's men, it's okay no, to be no, killed. No, no, yeah? no, no, no. What were they doing? Which what, one? Who? What, what protesting? Is, you no, say no, it yourself. No, what has Hamas called this protest for? And why does Fatah no, but condemn? The thing why is, is it, okay, so you've just said that twelve did, people. You did, you, sorry, sorry, I apologize. I apologize. You just no. said. Just I'm, I'm using your words. I don't want to get yeah. caught up. And like you said, the statistics. You said that there were twelve from Hamas and from uh, Islamic Jihad, yeah. which that would suggest that were six that were not. No, no. So six, six. Men of fighting age. Yes, yeah, fine. Islamic Jihad and Fatah and Hamas no. didn't claim, but they very easily no, could no, be no, no, no problem. But we know that from, from the history of Hamas and also other Islamic uh, groups like it, that whenever they have an opportunity to claim people on, on their side, they do so. That's right? not true. No, this is very true. That's categorically not true. Okay. What, what's actually look, look, mean, what's being look, shown is whenever there look. is conflicts in Gaza, they will strip military uniforms from Hamas operatives that are killed That's, and dress them in look, civilian clothes. Whenever so is a general ge civilian casualties. Joseph, you're an intelligent man. Whenever is a Hello, very generic you. term. Okay, so we can't say that in every situation where there's been casualties that that process has taken place because no, that, that would be an easily false survival. I'm saying that there's evidence that Hamas do this. You're right, okay, no problem. That's Even if saying. we accept that, right? Yeah. Six people, let's say, six individuals, according to yourself. I, I don't want to get caught up in the statistics. Do you know what said about this? No, but just, okay, just, sorry. just sorry, to finish off the, the statement here. Six individuals who are protesting were killed so, by the IDF. Why, do, you so, do you regret that? So why were they killed? I, so is it, do you condemn that or not? No, so I'm asking you, why were they killed? We have to have because a they were pro, Because they were protesting. Just, just because they were protesting. Yeah, just like there in was, the Indian There was 30,000 people protesting. Why weren't 30,000 people killed? What was the difference between these 18 and the other 17 to 30,000? So hold on. Depending so, we, we said specifically, we've got to focus on fatalities, yeah? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, yeah. So you're saying they were killed for protesting. Yes. So I'm responding to that and asking, why were the other 17,000 to 30,000, depending on whose numbers See, you chose. Nice. Why were they not so, killed? I'll tell you the reason why. Depending on the size and the scale of the protest. Now, if you look at the first and the second intifadas, the, the first and the second intifadas in, in 1987, the first one, and in the 2000s, the second one, the second and the second intifadas saw a much higher death rate of Palestinians of over three or four thousand. Let, let me phrase it in a different way. Right, really, no, no. Where were they killed? No. Where were the 18 people who were killed? Where were they killed? So you're talking about the border, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what's the issue? Okay, so, so they should be killed. So let, let, let me quote the Fatah. They should be quote, killed. Let me quote Fatah. Fatah came out and explicitly condemned Hamas. They said Hamas immobilized. Hamas wants two things from the protest. Okay, wants, no problem. I mean, this is some. This is aside the question I'm asking. No, no, you, no it's, it's you can't. You can't dictate the terms of the debate. No problem. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. So Hamas called the protest because they wanted to breach the fence, yeah? Okay. And that's why they've got all the tires which they're burning and you can watch the videos of Palestinians trying to cut through the fence and cut through the barbed wire because the Palestinians want, or Hamas want the fence breach. Now, why do they want 
armed militants who were shooting on Israeli positions to breach the fence. Why? These armed militants. So Hamas, Hamas, your videos are No, 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 we're not talking about the, the armed militants here. No, we, we, just said, but we just said the armed no, no, militants no, no. of Hamas were killed. No, 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 we said 12 of those were killed. And then now we, 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 I'm just focusing on six lives. Okay, then I'm saying we don't know if they're militants or not. Okay, but let's... We're, we're okay, asking okay. where were they killed and they were killed... Do you accept? To, Do you accept? They, were, they were killed trying to breach Israel's border. But Joseph, Hamas with, with the greatest of respect, with the greatest of respect, here we're in a forum of free discussion and debate. But it seems like what you're doing, I'm happy that in the beginning, okay, and, and, and the people would be a witness to this. In the beginning, you did actually say, you know, you condemned the fact that those people were celebrating the death of that man. That yeah? happened in December, that was nothing to no, do with these I know, protests. No, I, yeah. know, no, I understand. You said yeah, that yeah, you, yeah. You, you, yeah. you regret that or you condemned that even, yeah. yeah? Then you tried to kind of say that it wasn't the IDF that did it or people among the IDF. No, but no, it was, the IDF shop, there were two people. But there were some other people again. that were doing that, and you were saying that it wasn't the IDF. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm saying I don't know who they were. Yeah. There were two other so they could, have, they, could have, they could have been the IDF. Yeah. It could have been or could not then, have been. Then I'm we talked about know. the deaths of those individuals in the protest, yeah. the six individuals that were killed, and then that were not part of Hamas, according to yourself, not according no, to No, 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 no. I've never said that. You're putting words in my mouth. Okay. I said Hamas and Islamic Jihad claimed have claimed 12. 12. Yeah, yeah. Fatah so, have claimed some so, of the ones that Hamas claimed were their militants. Okay, no problem. And then we said there were six that were not in that category. Now, all I want you to do here is I want you to realize something very important, right? For us to be intellectually honest with ourselves and and for us to be fair and just, just like you were when you, when you praised myself and Ali Dawa and these things, I want you to do the same thing. When we talk about not just the history of the first and the second intifada, I'm not going to go beyond that because we're going to go into the 80s, yeah, the actually, deep actually, 80s. But, so, so, but again, you're dictating the terms of where the conversation no, goes. No, but, and this is one of the things I really don't like about Speaker's Corner, okay. is you get a big crowd of people right. and someone dictates the terms of the conversation. But I'm just, I, I, I was just about to finish the question. Okay. Now you can ask me, you're, you're free to ask me whatever okay. question you want, as you have been. But I was just going to say that in those instances, it's very clear that the IDF have been responsible for the excesses, for, for certain excesses. And they have been responsible for the death of civilians. Now what I'm saying is, that kind of thing, in my opinion, should be condemned very um, blatantly by people like yourself. Okay, so, Leaders so I'll, of the I'll, I'll respond. So you're not so going to do that? When, when IDF soldiers don't follow protocol and kill civilians, yes, yes. they're held in front of the Israeli judicial sentence. Do you reckon that works? Uh, do you reckon that the ju judiciary in Israel yeah, works in a, in a systematic way so as to ensure the minority status of those, work, of those uh, Muslim Palestinians living within their own state and those living within the Palestinian territories, do you think they do that so successfully? Is, so, so you're saying, I believe that they are incredibly, the judiciary are incredibly moral. They're always in conflict with the government. So you think they're, they're moral always they're, overruling the government. So why didn't they overrule the, the government's positions on settlements? So, okay, so we're jumping around, but I'm happy to go to settlements. What, first and foremost, define for the cameras what a settlement is. So what I understand of settlements is that when you're building infrastructure and in your case you're actually uh, not your, your personal case but in the case of the Israeli yeah. government they're building literally land and towns now I see cities being built on uh, on land which is clearly not uh, not their land okay basically. so, 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 so let's show that so you're saying not their land so what what, what is Palestinian land define the borders the, the, ter the Palestinian territories after 1967 is that what you're talking about yeah, you're saying that they're building settlements. If you want my, uh, if you want my own personal opinion, no, no, for, for the settlement, my, my, claim, based on the settlement. So when you're talking about settlements building on someone else's land, yes. what's the borders of the land that they're building on? We know the borders according to the UN. They say things like, okay, so we know about Jerusalem that it's an international city, for example, yeah, that it doesn't belong to anyone in particular. And then when we talk about the West Bank, sorry, where, where does it say that? Are you talking about the original Jerusalem. 1947 partition plan? No, 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 no. was rejected by both Jer the Israelis and the Palestinians. Now I'm talking about according to the UN, who does Jer Jerusalem belong so to? So Jerusalem, according to the United yeah. Nations. But then I'm answering your border question, so I'll, I'll answer that. But I want to know first that's of all, part of it, what are the Palestinians? Yeah, I'll, that's, I'll, part, that's part of it. Though, okay, so you're saying Jerusalem's an international city. So anyone building in Jerusalem effectively is a settler. So whether that Palestinian or Israeli, they're settlers, yeah. If it's an mean? international city. So no, I'm saying according to the UN. Yeah, so I'm according saying, to the UN. Yeah. According to the UN. Okay, so, the so Jerusalem, Eastern Jerusalem. I'm not sure about the specifics, but I think Eastern Jerusalem has been designated as a an international city or something of that sort. No, no. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But so, having said that, the borders. Yeah. There, there is consensus among anyone who's ever read international law that what's happening in the West Bank is settlement in a in a land which is not so, does you, not belong you have to. to be, 
you have to give. So, what, what, in your opinion, is is Israel? Israel? What's so, Israel? So, so, so I, can, I can, by opinion, what Israel is. Yes, please go ahead. Um, is it does it extend to Egypt and Sinai and Peninsula and beyond? Nonsense. No. No. Okay. I mean, because I mean, because you were talking about the. To I'm, I'm just asking you, right? Because yeah. you and I both know that from a rabbinical perspective, a lot of r r rabbis have actually said that. Israel is that is what extends from the Euphrates River to the Nile. Which rabbi said that? <laughs> Many rabbis have said which, this. Which one? I'll send you the links. No okay. problem. I'll send so you the.